like right now today. Sick, shackled, planetary prisoners. Common, natural humans, or people, are trapped in nasty nation cages. They're caged in the nations. The nations are their jailers, but they're the last ones to know. <laughs> Look, subhuman warlords and uh, big shot politicians they chain common people to torturous, endless work as throwaway economic slaves. Coal dust in your lungs? Too bad for you. Right now on Earth, how is the water and food actually flowing around? Well, it's not flowing. Check out the global shipping routes, the air cargo routes, the whatever distribution of energy on a planetary scale, um, all based on commercial, capitalistic, uh, no conscience, so therefore no need for guilt, Symbiosis, transactional uh, only, what's in it for me? I'm not going to scratch your back unless, and, and, and you do mine first. I'm just saying, you're going to itch your whole life if you don't play ball with me. Uh, what's the crude consequence of this? half-starved life energy flow. That's it, you know. And uh, obviously this uh, train wreck paradigm is not rushing towards any kind of equality for common people, gender equality, financial well-being equality, health equality. Rich people live a long time. Poor people croak before their time. Fake bum relationships amongst all the earth people caused by the nation's overlords. But we can't blame ourselves because uh, we were born into this mad monster merchant mentality. It's all around us. We didn't know any better. We got blindsided. Spellbound. With credit cards. Big screen TVs. We became consumer culture rather than spiritual creative culture. And uh, if you put your bet on spy satellites and corrupted computers to save your ass from getting blown off the planet, you made a bad bet. It's not working, but for me, I'm breaking out of prison, of the prison of the pyramid of slavery. All the bottom levels, with most at the lowest, and working up. Slaves. Put lipstick on a pig and you're still a slave. There's those who tell you what to do and there's those who have to do it. It's so simple, huh? You want to live like that? Well, and at the top of the pyramid, uh, billionaires, uh, with their private jets, uh, million dollar yachts, uh, harem of white chick prostitutes, you know, um, one percent 
<laughs> owns 50% of planet Earth's, Earth's kind humanity assets. 1% at the top of the pyramid. They call it the penthouse lounge at the very, very peak of the pyramid. And they got a, a, a broadcasting antenna on it. It's called Talk Back Radio. <laughs> Conspiracies. <laughs> but look, um, I'm breaking out because uh, and standing with the earth people, free hearted, we share generous gifts amongst ourselves. No strings attached. Uh, and I envision all my brothers and sisters, all us billions of common folks, um, bathed in a bounty of fresh, fresh, pure, precious water mm -hmm. and uh, substantial, nutritious food. And the king of compassion inspired me when he threw his thunder onto the earth and said, I have a dream. <laughs>